Washington has a long history of public protest, but even judged by those standards, this march is massive. Hundreds of thousands of women and many men too poured into the capital to make their voices heard. I came from Hawaii to be here today, and I'm here to represent all the people that can't be here. I'm really glad there's a lot of people who are willing to come and stand up for these kinds of things. I, I feel like it's important. It's not that we hate Trump, but we hate what he stands for, you know. And bigotry and racism, we're not going to stand for that. It gives me hope for our future. It was a really dark day when uh, the election results came in, and seeing this turnout really gives me hope that we will move forward for the better. It is clear from the scale of this march that President Trump faces an enormous, perhaps impossible challenge, convincing these women and many more like them around the country that he governs for all America. He has made it very clear that he wants to put uh, Britain at the front of the line for a, for a new trade deal. Obviously that's extremely exciting and, and important. But Germany's leader had what sounded like a coded warning for President Trump. I believe it's best if we work together based on rules, common values and joint actions in international economics, international trade and military alliances. There was less subtlety on the streets. These were the scenes in London at an anti-Trump demonstration. They were reflected here in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, in the Australian city of Sydney and in many other places. The elevation of a controversial populace to the most powerful office in the West has shaken the entire world. Well, James Cook reporting and he's in Washington for us now. So how are the protests being reported and likely to be received there then, James? Well, I think it's difficult to ignore the scale of the opposition to the new president, Donald Trump, not only here in Washington, D.C., as we saw there around the world, but across the United States, too. More than 600 marches are planned today. In fact, they're even marching against him, or at least demonstrating against him, as far away as a research station in Antarctica. Now, what Mr. Trump would say, what the White House would say, is that his supporters are in great number, too, and that many of them perhaps do not travel to the to the likes of Washington DC the swamp he has said he wants to drain not least because sometimes according to his his side uh, they are the poorer members of society for whom he says he will stick up nonetheless it's become a cliche to say it but this country is incredibly divided as for Mr Trump himself this afternoon, we expect him to go to meet at the CIA. That will be uh, a potentially very interesting meeting, possibly fraught given his uh, c conflict with the intelligence services during the latter stages of the election campaign and following his election with their assessment that Russia had attempted to interfere in the US election on his behalf. Uh, but the, clearly the wheels of government are going into motion and he's now in charge. Indeed, James.